Hey everybody, this is Chris, your dependable host for all things Reed. And today we're going to squeeze in another tool. <laughs> you get it? Squeeze in because it's a squeeze tool. <laughs> <clears throat> anyway, we're here with Nick from Reed, and Nick is going to explain exactly what the Bear Hug Squeeze Tool does. Nick, thanks for... Nick, thanks for... Where's Nick? He was supposed to be here. I told him to be hey, here. I'm down here. <laughs> He's in the hole. Nick, how are you? It's good to see you. I'm good, Chris. How are you? I'm doing great. Thanks for joining us today. No problem. Nick is here to do a little Q&A about the Bear Hug Tool. Nick, what is your role at Reed, and what role did you play in the creation of the Bear Hug? Well, I'm a Reed engineer, and I've mm -hmm. actually designed the Bear Hug Squeeze Tool. So you were the actual designer of that tool in front of you? Yes. Now, what sparked the idea for that particular tool? Well, Reed wanted to create a tool that we could use to shut off eight inch lines. Eight inch being the max, but it goes to four to eight inch. Is that what's actually right underneath you here? Yes, it is, actually. What size pipe would that be? This is eight inch DR11. That's eight inch, okay. So this is made specifically for this kind of pipe? Yes. You mentioned what the tool can be used on. Why would you want to use the tool? Well, you could use the tool to shut off for emergency purposes, or you could use the, the tool to replace common problems. I see. Now, when you say emergency purposes, what, are there some examples of that? Yeah, there could be a gas leak, water leak, Oh. or a pipe burst, or any, any of those uh, emergency problems. Oh, I see. Across. And then you could just literally take this tool and it would solve that problem. Yes, it would, it would act as a shutoff valve wherever you needed it. Perfect. Now, I'm looking at the tool from here. It seems very modular. Yes. Okay, it, was that in your original design to have something lighter and, and more modular? Yes, it, yes it was. Now, what is the weight of this tool? It is approximately 175 pounds, the base tool. Okay. And how is that beneficial? would you say? Um, well, compared to the competitors, uh, especially the major competitors, mm -hmm. it's about 50 pounds less than their comparable model. Oh, wow, okay. So could this be moved by people, or do you need to have some kind of equipment to move it around? It can, we do recommend two people, but, uh, but heavy equipment or lighter equipment mm -hmm. will work better. Especially in a small little space. Yes. It'd be easier. So Nick, how many pounds of force is this tool? 83,000 pounds. Okay, and then compared to the competitors, what are we talking? Well, this is the highest force output in the industry. The highest? Yes. Now, why is that important? Well, you're gonna achieve better flow control. And that's the uh, whole design of the tool. You don't want any flow to go past the squeeze tool. I see, okay. What are the various options that you have in order to power this tool? Well, we have two hydraulic pump options. We have a manual one, and we have an air over hydraulic version. And can you explain the differences between them? Well, the manual pump is like, uh, it's like the name and titles. It's manual. It, right. There's more physical labor that have to go into it. Mm -hmm. The air over hydraulic pump, um, you hook up an air compressor and it works, it actuates the cylinders by the click of a button. Oh, so that would be actually a little bit easier. Of course. And, yeah. Yes. Okay. The manual pump, however, is a little bit more portable, mm -hmm. especially if you don't have an air compressor on site. Sure. So speaking of portability, uh, can you explain exactly the process that you need to go through to get it into a hole or a ditch? Well, for the size of this tool, you can use light mobile equipment. We have this oversized U-bolt that you can attach a strap to and easily lift it and drop it into the ditch. Okay. Mm -hmm. We also have a demo video that is available on the Reed website. And what does the demo video show you exactly how to do that? Yes, it does. Oh, it's perfect. Okay. So, when I think of Reed, I think of tools that have immense benefits all the way around. It makes me say, yes, I have to have that tool. Now, what about the bear hug would make me say that exact thing? First, we have a double bar design. We have color-coded stops on the left and right side of the bars, and we also have a spring-loaded latch that secures the tool to the pipe. Okay. Let's talk about the double bar design for a second. What is the benefit of having the two bars versus a singular? Well, the, the double bar has two points of contact on the pipe. Okay, and what, what does that do? That optimizes flow control during shutoff. Okay, so one final question. If I have to run out and get myself a bear hug, can you tell me what comes standard with the base tool? This is the base tool, and what comes standard is the handles and the four saddle bolts. Those come apart from the tool, but mm -hmm. it'll come in the same ship. Okay. You do need uh, one of the pumps in order to operate the tool. 
the, either the manual pump or the air over hydraulic pump. And is that something we can also get from Reed? Yes, it is. So you can get everything all in one swoop? Yes, you can. That yeah, sounds good to me. <laughs> well, thanks, Nick, for your time today. You know, they say that PE is a bear to squeeze. Well, with the bear hug, things are now a breeze. Make sure you contact your distributor or visit reedmfgco.com and get yours today.